Good day everyone! In this video, I will show you how to update your old MacBooks computer's OS into Catalina. As an example, I have here a MacBook Air 2010, which is already 12 years old today, and the current OS installed here is HiShera. Today, I will demonstrate how to update it into Catalina. So if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the thumbs up and then if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. My MacBook Air is late 2010 and the operating system is Mac OS High Sierra. The first step is to download the Mac OS Catalina Patcher from dosdudeone.com. Go to the downloaded file and then double click on the Mac OS Catalina Patcher. It will then verify the file and it depends upon how fast is your computer it may take few seconds to few minutes to verify and then a security message will appear if your system is old and then just click OK next is go to system preferences and then select security and privacy and click open anyway and your patcher will be open on the pop-up screen click open to open your Mac OS Catalina patcher and then just close this window and then go to the Mac OS Catalina Patcher and just click continue. And then from the contributor screen, just also click continue. And on the Mac OS installer app, click download a copy. When you click download the copy, it will open the download Mac OS screen and then click start download and it will download Catalina from the Apple Store. After the download is complete, insert your USB key and then select from the installation method screen create bootable installer and then select the USB icon and then from the pop-up screen to erase everything click yes and then type your username and password and then click ok your bottable installer would then be created after your bottable USB installer will be created a success screen will be displayed. Close it and then shut down the computer. Click shut down and the computer will be turned off. Press the power button to turn on your computer and then press the option key to choose where to boot select the one with the Catalina icon and then continue after loading 
the Mac OS utility screen will be displayed. Select Disk Utility and then click Continue. Select your HDD and then we will format it and then install Catalina on it. Click erase and on the pop up screen, uh, I'm just using the default and then click the erase button. Now everything on the HDD will be erased and it will be formatted to our desired file system. Once completed, click the done button and then close this screen and you will return to the Mac OS utility screen and then select reinstall Mac OS and then click the continue button. And then the Mac OS Catalina screen will be displayed and then click continue. It will then display the software license agreement. Scroll down to it and read through the terms and once done reading click the agree button and in the pop-up screen click also agree and on this screen let's select the drive that we have just formatted. Uh, this is where we will install our Mac OS Catalina. Click on the Catalina icon and then click install. Uh, it will take a while for the installation to complete depending on your system. But hold the option key and select the Mac OS POS install. It will then automatically detect the patches that will be needed by your system. So click then the apply patches button. After applying the patches, the system would automatically reboot. And this time, it will already boot to the Catalina OS. The first boot would usually take a longer time depending on your system but on your second boot it will be faster already because all the settings are already been established. So your second boot, third, fourth and so on would be faster compared to the first boot. So just be patient and wait for it to complete. A welcome screen would be displayed. Select your country and then click continue. Select the keyboard layout and then click continue. The Wi-Fi selection screen would be displayed. Click your Wi-Fi network and then type your password in the password field. And then click continue to connect to the internet. the data and privacy screen, click continue. On transfer information to this map, select don't transfer any information. Click continue and the sign in with your Apple ID screen would be displayed. You have an option to
to set up later and continue with the installation or if you have an Apple ID you can input it now so in my case I will input my Apple ID and then type my password the password for my Apple ID and then click continue if you have another Apple device with this Apple ID check that device and get the code and input it on this screen on the pop-up screen click set up and then read through the terms and agreements click on the agree and then click also on the pop-up agree and then create a computer account for this computer after completing the setup for your Mac the patch updater screen will be displayed click the install button and then type the password that you have just created for this account on this computer and then click OK the new patch updates would then be installed on your computer After the updates are completed, click the restart button. Your computer would then reboot so that the newly installed patch would take effect. The rebooting process would take around few minutes to complete but it would be faster compared to the first boot that we have a while ago. So have a little patience for a while and then just wait. The login screen would then appear. The user account that you have just created would be displayed and then type the password of the account that you have created and then click continue your Mac OS Catalina installation has now been completed on your old MacBook computer if additional updates would pop up on your screen, just like the one in the upper right, just click install. Let's then check about this map to display our computer information. And as we can see, we have here already Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.7 and this is a MacBook Air 11 inch late 2010